In Brandon, Manitoba, 215 crosses are being staked into the ground. Written on them the names of some who went to residential school. A personal connection to a deeply disturbing history. I can't imagine my kids being taken, you know, like, and I know there's so many others that feel the same way. Across the country, people are continuing to mourn and remember. Yesterday in Kamloops, truck drivers rallied in solidarity outside of the city's former residential school, where a memorial grows. In BC's Peace Arch Park, an international ceremony hosted by the Lummi Nation. Relatives of those who went to the Kamloops residential school were given ceremonial blankets. Organizers wanted to recognize the suffering of Indigenous people from colonial policies across borders. I hope that this sheds light on what happened not only in Canada but in the U.S. and Australia. Those three countries were uh, the ones that committed these atrocities against the natives. In recent days, there's been a growing push for accountability, both from the federal government and the Catholic Church, which is why some were disappointed to not receive an apology from the Pope today. I think it's just a really sad day for, you know, folks who may be survivors and follow that faith that, you know, it is, uh, I think, extremely disrespectful. As people marched in Toronto with banners that read, Bring Our Children Home, Work was underway in Nova Scotia to search for any remains buried near which was once the Shubenacadie Residential School. At least 16 children were known to have died there. We spoke the truth, and now the truth is, is coming forth. The hope is that it leads to more searches at former residential school sites across the country. Briar Stewart, CBC News, Vancouver.